The world is changing. Digital transformation has changed so many aspects of our lives. It has opened up many new opportunities in how we communicate, how we order or receive goods and services, how we talk and see friends from around the world. For many, it has also impacted how we work. The way we currently operate the railway is also changing through the introduction of digital technologies. There have already been significant deployments around the world and these changes are becoming the norm. Although not the first deployment in the UK, the introduction of the European Train Control System, ETCS, on the East Coast Main Line between King's Cross and Peterborough is the first deployment on a major rail route that affects all operators. This technology, ETCS, introduces changes to the infrastructure on the railway, such as signals and signage. It will require additional on-train equipment and will change the way drivers receive information about the line ahead. It will also impact the way we plan, prepare and deliver our freight services. It's not surprising that these changes are taking place, as the National Railway infrastructure, all 20,000 miles of track, are up to 200 years old in places. The introduction of ETCS is a must if we are to bring our dated rail infrastructure into the 21st century and keep pace with other railways around the world. The whole industry, supported by the government, is coming together to deliver this change programme. The freight sector is working with passenger operators, heritage and charter services, on-track machine operators, network rail and other industry partners. This digital programme will be rolled out countrywide over time. We all have a role in designing and building a safer, more efficient, greener railway that we can be proud of. By working together, we can build the blueprint for Britain's railway of the future.